But uh, coach, these conditions are really warm. How how has that done help with your preparations? I saw one of your post game quotes saying you like the heat, you like this atmosphere. How's that benefiting you? Yeah, today was actually a nice cool day to tell you the truth. Started off nice, but uh, we've had some really good heat. I think heat brings out a lot of characteristics in men. Uh, you know, we, we certainly we have to watch them and we have to we have to care for them as far as hydrating them. But uh, they've pushed through the elements and really uh, come on strong as far as practicing in the heat. Great mindset to go attack it when we're when it's hot outside. Uh, so we really enjoy having the hot temperatures. Now you're halfway through fall camp. How's the acclimation of the new offense with Coach Glenn and uh, everything like that with with, Coach, with Ellington and, and just the entire unit? Yeah, I think if uh, if you watch this the last week or so, is it, uh, it's been a group that's really to kind of come together. Uh, I think Dan's done an exceptional job leading our football team, getting us. Uh, "Quote unquote," in the right play calls, uh, and, but I think we've all kind of gelled. I mean, the offensive staff works really well together, and our, our players are working really well together. So, uh, I expect big things from our offense. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to watch it. And how is that? You have a new running back coach, Coach Smith, and new yes. offensive line coach. Uh, how, how you kind of touched on it, but that's a lot of change for an off season. How are the guys handling just all of the new moving parts with yeah, the unit? You know, uh, it, I think it's it's been quite well. I mean, uh, I think Jimmy does a great job with the running backs, Coach Austin. Coach Guillermo, our graduate assistant with the offensive line. Uh, it, it's really fun to watch our staff, uh, to watch the, the, the way they've gelled, the way they communicate, the way they hang out with one another, the way they laugh, the way they talk and, and work through problems. And the same thing with our guys uh, on the offensive line and the running back room. I mean, you know, change, of course there's some change, but to tell you the truth, it's, it's about personalities and it's about trusting coaches. And I think we have the trust in our coaches and I think our, our coaches have the trust in our players. And how beneficial has it been having a Hunter Atkinson with the team for another year, being a veteran and helping with just this off season with yeah. everything? Hunter's a, a very smart football player, an old head now. I remember I mean, three years ago when we come in here, I was looking at him, I was like, you know, you play tight end, you have no idea what you're doing in offense a lot. Uh, but he has really developed into a strong player. Um, I'm really glad that he's anchoring our left side right there. He has the ability to play multiple positions, and that's why he's going to have a, a great shot to go play at the next level. So uh, I'm just thrilled with his maturity, his leadership, and uh, proud to have him on our football team. And uh, two more things. You talk about the depth at the running back position. Is it a fact of you want to see a guy emerge, or do you like having three or four guys maybe through the first game or two and just have that rotation you know, go on throughout the year? You know, uh, with, with a tempo-oriented offense, yeah. you, you're going to have guys that you need to rotate in and out. And I, I feel very comfortable having our backs that we have. Uh, three and four backs can go in there and do quite well. And they all have a different skill set. Uh, you know, certainly there's some times during the course of a game you would like to see a, a five or six play sequence of events where that same back gets it. And he kind of gets his feel for the ball game. And, and there's so many times in this day and age of football, you don't see the back that's carried it 22, 24 times, 26 times. Uh, I'm still a big believer in, in, in giving the ball that many times to somebody. We try to simulate that in some of our scrimmages to see how they respond and do they get better with more carries or, or are we better you know, with the rotation of an explosive back at any given moment that can take it the distance or does he need those six or seven carries to get his feet wet. Uh, they've done a great job. Like I said, Coach Smith uh, worked well with them and uh, I'm thrilled to see all those backs go out and play. Lastly, I heard Rocky Topper in the parking lot walking in. One, I know that's probably some, a mental aspect to that, but also the logistics of it, guys dealing with the noise. Uh, how do you, how have you guys prepared for that? Because you're going to be playing in front of 100 plus thousand, uh, all that stuff. How are you kind of acclimating the guys to this? Well, we've got a great sound system here in, yeah. in Rocky Top's a song that uh, you probably hear a thousand times there on uh, on the 31st. So we said, what better way to put the crowd noise in there or have noise in here for us to communicate than play in Rocky Top? I mean, it's. Uh, it's annoying, and uh, and our guys uh, they've come accustomed to it. So I don't I don't have a big concern about the noise factor there, Tennessee. Do you use the silent counts, the hand signals? Do you are you use are you emphasizing that a lot more? Not only with the new system, but obviously the atmosphere you'll be in. Yeah, we're we're gonna use multiple uh, cadences. Uh, so we'll we'll use some silent. We'll do some other things with it as well. So uh, you know that's something you got to keep guys off guard with. And uh, I think we have a good system with Coach Glenn. He brought it in and. Uh, We'll utilize that come, uh, come the 31st. All right.